Now then my friends, it is dinner time. It's starting to get dark, isn't it? The nights are drawing in a little bit more now. And I can feel autumn in the air as well. I don't know whether you can, I have. There's a little bit of a chill in the air. I have to say though, I am a summer person, but I've kind of liked it a little bit. It's got that, it's got that nice feeling to it, that, yeah, that autumnal feeling. Dusky nights, I mean, it's nice when it's like this anyway blue skies uh, but it is going to get darker so you're gonna have to bear with me because tonight I am going to Miller and Carter which is a steakhouse restaurant lots of people have said to me try Miller and Carter they do great steaks now it's a chain though isn't it it's a chain again it's a restaurant chain and the big question is are these restaurant chains any good and especially where steaks are concerned because it's a difficult one with steaks it's got to be right. I like a fillet steak. I like it done medium. I like it done. It's got to be done to perfection. And the last steak that I had was in uh, was in London, and it made me ill. And that was absolutely terrible. And that was at uh, Angus Steakhouses. But lots of you people have said try Miller and Carter. So that's what I'm going to do. However, I'm going to have to go in this time covert because when I went into Angus Steakhouse, I went in with my. Uh, gimbal, my tripod, my microphone, and they were all over me, literally. What are you doing? What are you doing? And they were on top of me. And I thought it might be a little bit unfair because they're, obviously they know I'm filming, so they try and make a bit more of an effort. So today I'm just gonna take my mobile phone in with me. So I do apologize if the quality is not up to scratch uh, and I won't be speaking an awful lot. I'll try and speak a little bit, obviously. I'll show you the menu, I'll show you the steak, I'll show you the chips. I'm gonna order chips, obviously, with it, because that's what I do. Uh, and we're gonna mark it out of 10. Again, uh, I want your guys' opinion as well. Uh, so in the comments section down below, give me your opinion on what you think to the steak. Uh, marks out of 10. <sighs> I'm a bit hungry, actually. I'm looking forward to this. I'm gonna go for a bit of peppercorn sauce as well. The peppercorn sauce that I had from Angus Steakhouse was terrible. It looked like it was off when I looked back at it. Um, if I don't want to think about that, otherwise it's going to put me off of this. So Miller and Carter, we're going to head there now, mark it out of 10. If you're new to the channel, don't forget, like, subscribe, and click that little bell for notifications of when I upload new videos. Now, without further ado, my friends, let's go. So the Miller and Carter that I'm going to today is in Sherwood Forest in Nottinghamshire. It's actually on Nottingham Road um, on the way into Nottingham. It's on the right hand side. Um, as I say, it's a chain. Who remembers the chains when you go back many years? Uh, the, the people of my age will remember the Bernie Steakhouses where you had your prawn cocktail. Always had a prawn cocktail to start with, didn't you? Like a nice little prawn cocktail with your salad and your and your little triangle brown bread with butter on it. Oh, I loved them days, they were great. Um, not gonna go for the prawn cocktail uh, today because uh, prawns can be a bit iffy. So uh, we're just gonna go with the steak and mark that. Uh, I'll tell you what, another little b gripe I've got, nothing to do with steak by the way, I've just pulled away from the traffic lights there. Does it, does it wind you up when you've got somebody in front of you and the traffic lights change? And literally 10 seconds later, they haven't moved. Got a woman in front of me. What? How long does it take you to check, put it in gear, to check the mirror? Will we? Anyway, that's done. That's me moaning. Hop back onto the stake though. Who has seen the news recently where Gemma Collins has had a stake in London, a gold plated stake in London? Sorry if it's a bit dark, by the way, going through the trees because I'm in Sherwood Forest. Um, and she had a gold-plated stake, and I think the bill, the whole bill came to something like £1,600. And I think the stake was about £600. Absolutely. We're, where on earth? Do, honestly, there's people starving in the world. And you've got Gemma Collins 
eating a steak with gold on it for 1600 pounds it's just absolute madness the world's gone crazy anyway come on onwards right here we are miller and carter it's literally half past six and it's getting dark already crazy it reminds me of going taking me back to my childhood again because christmas is on the horizon now and you've got them Christmas adverts coming in soon. Who remembers all the adverts where you'd got Tin Can Alley and Buckaroo and oh yeah. I'm like I'm, I'm liking this time of year now. Right here we are, Miller and Carter Steakhouse. See what these chains are like. Looks quite nice from the outside. Nice outside seating area as well. Right, let's park up. There we go. Park over here. Oh, right, eating in a restaurant makes a change to eating in the car, doesn't it? Right, come on. As I say, going to film it on my mobile phone. We're not going to give them uh, a bit of an advantage this time. Uh, we're going to go in covert. So uh, come on, onwards. Right, well, I hope I can get in because I haven't booked. So fingers crossed. Eight ounce fillet steak, please. Medium, please. Steak sauce. Uh, can I have um, peppercorn, please? Uh, just, just peppercorn sauce, thanks. So you get the salad wedge there. For oh, you get the salad. Yeah, so that was the steak sauce that came on the side, and then you just get the like, lettuce. Oh, okay, so uh, yeah, we get the. Uh, so you choose a wedge dressing, I'll have. Uh, oh dear. Bacon and honey mustard, please. Like fries, sweet potatoes, fries, or chunky chips. Chunky chips, please. Any size for you? Uh, just, just that. Thank oh, you very much. Is that everything? Uh, yeah, thank you very much. I'll get that there for you. I'll really? leave you with the menu just in case you want to see it later. Do you do onion rings as well? Um, no, but we have an onion layer that you get on your steak already. Oh, right, brilliant. So, so I'm yeah, already. Yeah, so you get it already. And brilliant. if you want more, I can always get you more. No, already. no, no, that's fine. Thank you very much. Okay, I'll leave the menus on just in case you want to deserve anything. Magic. If you need anything, my name's Emily. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.
Right, time to mark another 10. I'll see you outside. Right, okay. Sorry if it's a bit dark, I am in the car, and as I say, the nights are drawing in, and we haven't even put the clocks back yet, have we? Uh, so it's a good test anyway, uh, on my new phone here, the uh, iPhone uh, 13 Pro Max, supposed to be good in low light, so you have to let me what it's, know what it's like. Right, first of all, I'm gonna say, um, Emily, absolute first class service. She was spot on, she was, a 10 for a service i want to say that couldn't be more helpful uh, and the moment i went in there as well there was a, a young gentleman in there as well uh, very very polite so the service in there in the one here uh, on the way to nottingham really really pleased with it I, astounding very very good uh, it's nice to see people uh, enjoying their job right let's get down to business uh, we've obviously had a bad steak experience when i went to london uh, when i went to the angus steakhouse so we're now at miller and carter and the question is is their reputation at stake you see what i did there uh, anyway yeah you get the idea um i was quite pleased really because i went for the um the, the fillet steak i went for the eight ounce fillet steak uh, and i asked for it to be medium and that was 28 pounds 50 and i thought oh blimey this is going to all mount up what with the with the fries and uh, if i had onion rings and um and with a drink as well however the whole bill came to 32 pounds 80. there's no service charge on it at all uh, i left um i left emily i left emily a uh, a tip i left her a, a five pound tip in cash um because there's no service charge on and i think she deserved it she really did um <laughs> pull out all the stops and she didn't know that i was doing this uh, review because i didn't go in this time with a camera and a microphone i just went in with my phone so all of their steaks are served uh, with parsley butter, seasoned fries, uh, balsamic beef, tomato, and the famous uh, onion loaf, which was really nice, I have to say. Thoroughly enjoyed the onion loaf, so she did say they don't do onion rings, but the onion loaf is very nice. I upgraded my fries to uh, chunky uh, chips, which was a one pound supplement. Um, so basically, uh, here's a, a copy of the receipt. Uh, we've got one large Pepsi Max, which was three pound thirty. Tad expensive for the uh, Pepsi Max, but but it was large. So uh, if I'll be, <laughs> we're going to the bathroom all night now. Uh, eight ounce fillet steak, twenty eight fifty. Upgrade to chunky chips. Uh, so there we have it, uh, thirty two pounds eighty. Um, I have to say, I really enjoyed that steak. Uh, for me, it was done to perfection. It, it cut through it really, really nice when I'd got the steak knife. I've got a proper steak knife with it. Cut through it like butter. It, was, it wasn't It was burnt on the outside. It was a nice steak. It was, it, it was very, very tender how it should be. Thoroughly enjoyed it. I enjoyed the chunky uh, fries. I liked the, uh, the salad as well. I didn't eat all of the, the, the lettuce. That was really nice. I have to say I thoroughly enjoyed it and I think as a steakhouse, it's a chain. Uh, they've, they've got one of these. I've seen one of these in Leeds. I'll put the link to their website in the description down below. I'm going to go, I would say, for. <sighs> I'm going to say. I'm going to have to give this a, a 10. I'm going to have to give it a 10 because I can't find anything wrong with it. I think um, for, the, for the price. I think it was great because you I think that's absolutely spot on the service was first class so I have to give it a 10 I am pleasantly surprised I expected to be disappointed because of it being a uh, a chain but not at all very 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 surprised Miller and Carter Steakhouse thoroughly enjoyed it service second to none very very good I'd love to go again highly recommend it that's all from me today I'm going to go now and uh, don't forget if you do like the video just hit that thumbs up also uh, if you're new to the channel hit the subscribe button uh, sorry it's a bit dark in here um, like I say you'll have to let me know what the video is like because it's the new iPhone 13 Pro Max which is it's supposed to be brilliant in the dark anyway that's all from me today see you guys in the next one goodbye 
Follow the MacMaster on Facebook for all the latest news and information, and also my whereabouts. Who knows? I could be in your town soon. That's facebook.com forward slash the MacMaster. Also, don't forget to subscribe. Just click my photograph right over there on the right. And also, check out my merchandise. Click on the little cartoon on the left.